Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest, Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So this morning, we're gonna walk you through a new 2022 Logan-Stockman combo. So stock combos, man, over the last couple years, I mean, they have been become so popular. Uh, they're such a good seller because of their versatility. You know, you can haul horses, you can haul livestock, you can haul toys in them. So it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, by going with a stock combo option. Uh, with that being said, um, these guys do not last very long around here. So if you're in the market for one, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. We got a couple of these in a couple of weeks ago and they're already sold and gone. Uh, so this one just arrived over the weekend, got it washed up. We'll run it through our shop like we do with every single trailer and uh, get it ready for you to go. So do not hesitate. So again, like I mentioned, the 2022 Logan Stockman combo. Let's take a look at the drawing because I'll show you how this trailer set up. So we're 20 foot on the floor. We have a front dressing room with a swing out saddle rack. Uh, these Logans are 7.3 wide. That's their standard width. So I'll show you when we get in the stall area, you're gonna have a little bit of wheel well in there. And then they're seven foot tall. Those are the standard options on this. Uh, but this is a straight wall, front tack room, which we'll show you here in a second. But let's walk you through this trailer. And before we do that, let's talk about galvanized steel frame with aluminum body. So we have the strength of steel uh, we're not going to have the, the rust issues as you would with black steel. You have a lifetime corrosion warranty on this Logan because of that galvanized steel frame. But also, they incorporate a lot of vortex lining. And vortex lining is like a bed liner, which I'll show you, as they kind of use that throughout this trailer. But then, as you can see, they finish it off in the aluminum body. So I think it gives it a nice, clean look to it. Uh, it also lightens it up a little bit compared to just going all steel. Uh, but again, a really cool setup, and again, a lot of versatility with this trailer. So let's take a look. Right here at the front of this trailer, you'll notice a, a single leg. It's a manual hand crank jack. If you want to upgrade to a hydraulic jack, we can do that here. Uh, but look at, if you look underneath here, you'll notice all that vortex lining. They incorporate it, I mean, you know, on this gooseneck drop wall underneath, underneath the gooseneck deck itself. Uh, I think this really helps with road blast. It doesn't beat this trailer up near as much. Uh, you know, a certain rock at a certain velocity will possibly ding this. But for the most part, you know, these trailers look like this uh, years down the road. You also have <coughs> your jack handle that stores back behind here. Uh, but this also doubles as a lug wrench. So you'll be able to have a lug wrench on, on hand at all times. Spare tires located to the left of the jack. And then underneath, we always think about this, but they've gone in, they've put a light, an LED light underneath here. So your switch is over here on the kind of front corner of this trailer. But you know, as you're backing up, your cargo light in your truck is actually gonna get, it's gonna hit the front of the trailer. So you really don't have that light underneath here. Uh, so Logan's gone in, added that so we can kind of light up the back of your bed, light up where that uh, jack actually sits itself. Uh, so you've got some light coverage there. It's a bulldog hitch. These are adjustable as well. You see the, the two big nuts here and then a pin that goes through. So they have multiple spots, you know, where these bolts go in and uh, actually connect and push onto this coupler, but then this pin goes through. So three basically points of contact where it's holding that into place but we are adjustable, we can go up or down. Want to make this, this trailer as level as we can on your truck with bed clearance. That's the ultimate goal. So again, a front dressing room here, straight wall. You have a swing out saddle rack, four tier. It's really handy when you're getting saddles, you know, on and off not having to crawl in this tack room in order to get that. Uh, but again, swings in, swings out of the way for you. Still gives you a good clear path to get in that front dressing room if you need to, even when the saddle racks are swung out or even swung in in this instance here. You know, just the standard uh, carpet on the gooseneck deck, drop wall and on the floor. You got an LED light up in the nose, one above the door as well. And then you've got windows. So if you're sleeping in here, throw a mattress up, 
bed rolls, sleeping bags. You've got a, you can create a cross breeze, uh, but also you can see out of this trailer as well. On the partition wall, carpeted behind it with a good solid row of hooks all the way across there. So a good, good amount of storage in here. On the gooseneck drop wall, you have this fold up cleat. So it's easy jumping in and out of the, the actual neck area itself. And then on their standard models, Logan, you're gonna get a, a ramp if you need to actually change a tire, they're going to throw one of those in there for you as well. On the tack door, you're going to have a four-tier blanket pole rack. It does swing out, snaps back, and then you've got a brush tray for kind of some of, them, some of those smaller miscellaneous items. Brushes, fly spray bottles, anything like that. If you watch our video and, and you watch these Logans quite a bit, I always like to touch on this. And, and there's a, it can get repetitive, but with that being said, this is really important. This heavy duty door uh, that Logan puts on this model itself and then a couple other models that they have. Why this is so important is because this is a door we're gonna use time and time and time again. So a prefab door isn't gonna hold up. It's like a piece of paper in your hand. It's real lightweight. You can feel the mass and the weight of these heavy duty doors. So you've got framework built into it. You have these welded hinges. So again, it gives it a good solid, uh, you know, feel to the, the door itself, a good solid seal as well. They do a good job on their actual door frames and then incorporating a, a good weather stripping in there. Because the last thing we want to do is, is have a nice trailer like this and, you know, have a lightweight door uh, that's going to possibly leak, possibly going to pop open as you go down the road. And, and the easiest and quickest way to tell is if a door is rounded at the top, it's a camper style door, that is prefab. That's where you get that lightweight door. This is square at the top. This is built at the factory. You know, you see the welds uh, in the corners on these hinges. Again, really stout there. And then there's a drip rail that goes across it. So that drip rail will keep you know, that moisture from hitting the top of that door, trying to get into that seal itself. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool here this morning. Uh, we're gonna have some freezing temperatures over the next couple days to where that stuff could get in that door and potentially make it to where it's harder to open. It actually freezes shut. Well, then you have the potential of ripping that weather stripping off. So that's real important here where, you know, we'll get some snow, we'll get some rain, we'll get some warm days, and then it'll freeze overnight. So when that stuff comes off the trailer, we don't want to get in that door and trying to go back in. White sheeting, that's a standard. Uh, we mix up kind of some different uh, trailers with different colors as well. Uh, but this one here is going to have your standard white. Located directly behind it is our escape door. So it gives you the ability to jump in and access that front compartment if you'd like. LED button lights for marker lights, that's standard on the 22 models. Kind of right above your wheel well, up on that top rail, you'll notice an eight inch awning light. So there's lights around this trailer. So you have coverage as you're lo uh, tacking and uh, you know putting saddles away, anything like that. Two 7,000 pound rubber torsion axles. These are 16 inch steel wheels with the, the actual covers the hub covers themselves that pop on and off sometimes we upgrade to some aluminum wheels you have tie rings on each side on the exterior and the other thing is some people might say that's ah, really cool but you know in the in the winter time when I'm traveling I'd like to be able to enclose this trailer and you have the capability to do that back here you'll notice there's a piece that goes across there well I can unscrew that get my plexiglass there's already a track built in there so I can run my plexiglass in uh, I actually like to if you can keep them in about four foot sections they're a little easier to kind of handle uh, there's less risk of those longer pieces as you're bending them potentially cracking and breaking so four foot sections work best and then obviously you're probably gonna have a little miscellaneous one um, to finish it off 
but then you just put that piece right back on there, screw it on, and it holds it in place. So you have that on all these air gaps all the way around. One other thing on these Stockman combos and their Stockman models, these back corners, you'll notice that these pieces that they've got here, it's almost like a little triangle it creates there. But what that is is, so if you're out in a pasture, you need to kind of build a makeshift corral and put some panels to this to load maybe some calves or, or some bulls, something along those lines, you've got that on each side of the trailer so you can attach your panels directly to the trailer itself. So I've got the slider gate open. So again, it slides completely out of the way. So if we need to butt up against somebody to jump something across, you've got that capability. But I also want you to notice no air gaps. Uh, this is something we prefer to do. Um, we don't like air gaps at the back of trailers. Uh, you know, sometimes on these stock trailers, we'll leave the air gaps and then you can do the flexi like you can on the side. But we opted to just do no air gaps on the back of this. And there's a reason for that. So if you live down dirt roads, drive down a lot of dirt roads, you'll notice on the back of your truck, your vehicles, it swirls. That dust swirls at the back of the vehicle and usually coats the back of the, the vehicle. You can go by and there's actually, you know, you can wipe your hand and get some actual dust on your hand. So what happens at the back of trailers is that stuff swirls and it actually tries to go into the trailer. So if we've got this stacked with horses, stacked with calves, uh, as the, the animals on the back will be covered more in dust and it'll gradually, you know, just kind of taper off as you move forward. But think about this. They're breathing that dust in there and nobody and everybody that has livestock and horses know that's one thing we want to try to avoid because that's going to cause some sickness. So we try to eliminate that uh, by having the, the non-air gaps back here. And then one thing that's really cool on this and I, I, I'm a big fan of slam gates. And the reason why is for safety purposes. So if we're bringing some calves up here and pushing them in, you know, you get them that front compartment loaded, you're working on the back. You know, as you swing this across, I don't have to swing this across and try to have calves pushing back, bulls pushing back, you know, trying to get this gate in place to get over here to get that cam latch. So we're on this here, we just throw it shut and it slams. Then I can walk over here, grab my big cam latch, and lock it into place. So slam latch on this one, and I'll show you it is on the center gate as well. We basically just split this uh, stall area in half here. Again, center gate, same thing on a slam. So I can go ahead and get that locked when we're pushing cabs, pushing anything in here, as far as that goes. There's a release for that slam gate on the inside and the exterior. And then I can actually take it across and pin it against that, that uh, passenger side wall. So again, 7.3 wide. You'll notice just a little bit of wheel well on each side of this trailer. It's nothing major. It's not you know deep into this stall area, but it gives us that little bit more extra width to the trailer. And then as you're looking at this, I want you to notice again, all that vortex lining again, they've incorporated it, you know, down low on this, on these kick walls, on our upright posts. Uh, so again, they incorporate it throughout. Again, giving it a lot of strength, a lot of durability. It's really easy to clean. Uh, when you're cleaning this stall, nose it up, hop in through the escape door and just blow everything out. Um, seven foot tall. You'll notice that there is a little bit of an arch to this roof. Uh, I don't like flat roofs because again, snow, that moisture can sit up there. We want it to get away from this trailer and we'll get it off the roof. So with that little bit of a, a radius to it, it's gonna get that snow, get that moisture off. You got a couple LED lights in here as well. Those are on individual switches at the back, uh, your exterior and then your interiors. But then I want you to notice this floor that I'm standing on here. So this is standard on these Stockmans and Stockman combos. Also on their Riot models and some of their living quarters. But this is such a cool floor because it's a self-draining floor. So there are aluminum planks underneath here that are covered in that vortex lining. There's a gap between each one of those planks. And then this is this porous rubber floor. So as water and urine hit it, it works its way through the floor and out it goes. You know, urine never makes contact with the aluminum. 
Uh, that's something we always have to watch on trailers, especially all aluminum trailers. Uh, but again, it gets it away. It keeps the stall area really clean um, for the most part. And again, it's really easy to power wash. You just muck out your solids and power wash out. And in fact, right over here, here's kind of a little uh, cutout that they have on the trailer showing you. So again, these are those aluminum planks. These run the length of the trailer. You'll notice the gaps between each plank, but again, that vortex lining. And the reason why it's on an angle, some people ask that and say, well, why is it on an angle? Well, you know, gravity comes into play. That, that water and urine are gonna go down out of the trailer, but we're not gonna get anything as far as splashback from the road potentially by having that little bit of a pitch to it. One of the other cool things in here, uh, again, with the, the track for the plexiglass in here is, well, if you have that plexiglass in, I can't tie to these posts if I'm tying some horses up or some, or some calves, anything like that. Well, there's these tie rails on the inside here. So they're above the, the bottom air gap, kind of about halfway in between this top piece of aluminum. Uh, so I can tie some, some horses, some calves, anything like that in here. It is on both sides of the stall area. But again, thinking about having that plexiglass in there and not being able to access that post, you have that right there for you. So a lot of real useful you know, options there that are gonna make life real easy, real simple. Uh, they've put a lot of thought behind it. I, I really like what they've done in, the, in that stall area there. Out here, again, the, here's that, like I was mentioning, that exterior release for that center gate slam latch. You know, you have four tie rings over here on the exterior, where on the other side you had three, but that's because we also had that access gate on that side of it. Load light above the wheel wells on this one. Again, that aluminum and the white sheeting on this type of a setup, you know, just really dresses the trailer up, gives it a good look to it as well. So we have other sizes, other tack options available. Most of those are on order. Uh, so if you want to see what we have, give any, anybody on the sales team a call. We can help you out with that. We can help you out with this trailer. So I'm going to give you the stock number on it. You can just reference this. 5N210-307. Again, it's a 2022 Logan Coach Stockman Combo 20 foot with a straight wall front tack room. So again, give us a shout. Anybody can help you out. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.